Hello everyone, it's DA here and today we will be taking a look at one of the operator customizations that I've been using for the past few weeks. Now apart from the usual mission objectives in Warframe, fashion is highly important. And if you will be going out there into the field, it is important that not only you have your best gear, but also look good while doing it. So today I will be showing you some of the quick steps I take and how I finalize my look. So first things first. You want to pick your face, your complexion, and also your makeup if any. Mine is created to look this way, however, I hope we see a large addition of more air styles in the future. Now for this look, I am using the Rev 16 somatics for the spots and the highlight. This one gives you the four golden pendants attached to each portion of the face, and you can also experiment with different styles if you don't like this one. So feel free to experiment and go with whatever you want. Now there are multiple options to choose from. For the color choice, I chose black and gold. Now the gold will be selected from the storm palette, row three, and you can go and alternate between columns one and three. Now, if you're wondering why I have black instead of a brighter color or why I have darker colors, it is because due to the current style and design of some of these textures right now, a lot of them do not favor brighter colors. It makes it look more a little bit like a plastic fill. So that is why I'm using darker colors. And a lot of you can tell just by looking at it as well. Now for the facial accessories, I am using the Massim earpiece and nothing else. Now once again, you can go ahead and try out different things, see what you feel good with it. Maybe add a glasses, add some earpieces. That is a little bit different. However, it is all a matter of your choice. But with this one, I'm using the Massim earpiece and nothing else and for the colors i'm also using a black from any palette you can use black from the gamma palette or black from the gold palette or even the fire palette it's all a matter of your choice and for the gold portion i'm still using the one from the storm palette which will be row three and column one or three so those are some of the things that you can use all this will create something simple and also elegant now the next part is where the fun begins. Every item here is picked because of the aesthetics and also the textures. But also, I wanted something that balances out like an assassin from Assassin's Creed. I have the Manduka hood, the Manduka suit, the Sino pauldrons, Zerman leggings, and the Corpora tacits. Now these are items that can be acquired either from the quills, bought individually, or bought as an entire set. Now, I would also love to use the corporate folds in this situation, but the materials are cutting into each other. So until the update fixes all those cutting and clipping, I will say go for the tacits until they fix a lot of those clippings. Now on the color side, the primary and the seconds are two shades of black, and you can pick those from the smoke palette, the gamma palette, or you can go as far as picking it from the fire palette. And you can get all of those in a much more better way. Now for the tertiary colors, I had a little bit of a dark purple that can be found on the Lotus palette or the Gamma palette, or any dark blue as a matter of fact will work in this situation, so you can use whatever you want. And for the energy colors, I am using the purple from the Twitch bundle. As for sigils, I am using the Prominence sigil turned sideways for some cool and really amazing effects. Stances do not matter in this situation. You can choose whichever stance you like. So far, there is no idle motion or idle mode in missions, so it doesn't matter as much. Now, the last one is my amp, which is something that I'll be talking about more deeply in another video. This one is also customized to have a white, black, and gold look on it, so it coordinates well with the outfit and the color choices that I've picked for the outfit. Now, at the end, you will have a stunning looking operator, classic, elegant, and smartly dressed, and all you have left is to take a screenshot, pat yourself on the back, and you are good to go. Now, this is it for my customization for what I call the assassin's look. Hope you guys like it, and tell me if you will be trying out this look as well. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.